write it in. Day 31. Day 31. Today is 15th of March 2024. Let's begin. 31 days of semen retention. 31 days of intermittent fasting, aka black fast. 31 days of blessing the energy centers. I actually changed it that I did the, did the blessing the energy centers meditation this morning and it was extremely powerful. I'm gonna be continuing doing that every morning because in the morning your subconscious mind is most open for you to make it as you wish without having any programs from the day. Mornings are really important times to meditate and to pray because through your subconscious mind you are connected to the greater conscious mind that is that has created everything. Let's say God. And daily bioenergetics instead of coffee, 28 days. No junk food at all. 31 days and cold a shower. 23 days. Yeah, buddy. All right, now that's that out of the way. Let's begin. All right. Today, like I said, I did the blessing of the energy centers meditation. And I felt a lot of joy, a lot of joy, rather than the sadness that I felt yesterday. I felt a lot of joy because there are so many people doing the work of good, sharing goodness to this world. I could name drop some people, for example, Elliot Holtz, Eric Dubay, Levely, which is Finnish, Finnish um, media thing, counter media actually. And then there is some Finnish guys, Antti Launen and Samuli Perälä, um, Jonas, great artist, Finnish artist. Then there is uh, Tom McDonald, Hi Rez. I can think off the top of my head, those. And then all the great books which have been written. For example, Joseph Murray has written. Is it Joseph Murray? I gotta check that. But Power of Your Subconscious Mind. <laughs> really great book. Is the Power of Your Subconscious Mind. Who have you, who, yeah, Joseph Murray, Joseph Murphy, that's the name, <clears throat> all right, and Joe Dispenza, of course, of course, how could I forget Joe, Joe Dispenza, latest but not the least, really great guy, I love those stories, how people have healed their problems with the meditations that he has shared with the world, it's just so great. It's just so great. And actually during the meditation, I focused on my father so I could hopefully heal him through my meditation. Hopefully it works. I'm trying, at least. I'm not, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but I've not tried this before. But now I hope it works. But anyways, it's, it's working for me. I feel a lot, a lot of joy and a lot of gratefulness to be alive at this moment. Something that I haven't felt for a long time. It's weird. It's really weird. But I highly recommend you to do those. Do that. Or some sort of meditation or prayer. Whatever works for you. If praying is your thing, you do that. There's actually great, great, great prayer which is mental prayer, you actually, well, for example, instead of meditating, you uh, focus on talking with Jesus and God and whatnot. Those are, those, I, I did one of mental prayer and that was interesting experience as well. But for some reason that blessing the energy centers 
works better for me. But each to their own. Yeah. And also during the meditation, I also had a idea that I probably need to stop playing video games for now. Because that's my last escapism. I'm still using video games as an escapism. Well, from boredom. But rather than feeling bored, I would just rather read a book or something. Because let's be honest here. I be I played Last Epoch for a quite quite some time in the past. Well, since its launch, and I tried to play WoW, but WoW doesn't just feel the same anymore. Not even classic, classic uh, season of Discovery. I got to 40 and then just no, no, fuck it, don't care. And well, right now in the in the retail WoW, there's nothing going on. Maybe I will try it again when new expansion comes, who knows, but for now I will be taking break from video games as well and give this 100% go all in with no distractions, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing that I can escape to. I'm gonna focus on myself, gonna read books, gonna be lifting. Gonna be doing all these great things, make me feel so good, so so good, yeah. And 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 this weekend I will actually be over at my ex's place where my kids are. I will be there spending time with my kids, and I won't be bringing this camera. I will be filming probably with my phone. Uh, day 32 and day 33 and they no 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 day 33 is gonna be with this camera because I will no no actually yeah day 33 will be with my phone and day 34 will be with this camera because I'm staying there until well I'm taking the kids to daycare on Monday, so I will be sleeping there and then just coming here. And then on Monday it's workout day again and then I'm going again to see my kids. This works for me. I can see my kids a lot and that's what I like. Even though we have parted ways with my ex, I still want to be present with my, with my kids. I want to be a father that's not absent. I want to be a father that even though the relationship with me and my ex went away, I want to be there for my kids. I want to see them grow. And the best way is to do that by visiting there three times a week. And then every other weekend I will take them here. I was actually supposed to take them here this weekend, but <laughs> this place is a complete mess. And... I will actually be taking them here, not the next weekend, but after that weekend. It will, the thought of that, it makes me feel pretty painful. I feel quite a lot of pain for, well, I'm not sure how the experience will go, but it will be weird. That they have their own room there and when they're not there then I will probably feel a lot of emptiness right about now but then again I can see my kids from every Monday Wednesday and Friday and if I change my lifting at some point I will be doing lifting four times a week so I will be going there four times a week as my gym is near where they are it makes sense to combine things like this. So yeah, that's what I will be doing. I will be spending some great time with my kids, enjoying their company, won't be taking my computer, it will stay here. Uh, before I've taken my computer there and when they go to sleep, I go to the computer and play some video games. But right now I think 
tomorrow I will, when they go to sleep, I will read a book. I have a great book that I haven't finished yet. It's uh, the 2000, it's the 20th center edition of King Warrior Lover. The great, great book. But it's a version that's more suitable for this, this time. This is these days. It's for 20th century. It's from it's from Rod Rod Bro Rod Bootroid. I've listened it I've read it well 30 pages so far of 192. I'm gonna be finishing this book this weekend, probably tomorrow. And then uh, we'll be reading some other books. Let me see what I have here. Uh, uh, what's my library? Uh, 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 uh. Think and Grow Rich, I've read that. Language of the Body, actually, I could read that. That's Alexander Lowen's book about... Well, body. That's, this is a long book. This is... 6,217 pages. <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting to delve into. All right, that's my weekend plan when the kids are sleeping. And of course, in the morning, I will be doing the blessing the energy centers meditation because that's so, just so, so great, so great. Yeah, all right. I think that's enough topics for this video. I think I did, did I, yeah, I did, I did say already that your subconscious mind is, that's where God is. You access God through your subconscious mind and God is the conscious mind around everything. Yeah. All right. I think this is the video. Thank you for watching. Comment whatever you feel like commenting and subscribe because there's more coming like this. And share this video if this message resonates with you and you feel like it needs to be shared. All right, all the best. Stay strong. God bless and all glory to God. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, see ya.